on today's dive adventure. Tuklasin natin ang mga extraordinary macro and rare marine creature ng Rumblon Island. And learn the basics of macro dive spotting and black water diving with your diving buddy, The Dive. Pambihira ang liit ng mga marine macro creature. Pahirapan din silang hanapin dahil sa kanilang unique camouflage abilities. Pero dito sa Rumblon, hindi raw uuwing luhaan ang mga dumadayong underwater photographer. Dahil garantisado raw na may makikitang hindi lang macro, kundi rare marine creatures sa kanilang dive adventure. Kaya naman, tinagurian ang Rumblon Island bilang rare macro critter haven ng bansa. Pero bago natin i-explore ang underwater paradise ng Rumblon, alamin muna natin kung saan nga sa ilalim ng dagat madalas makikita ang mga macro creature. Una sa listahan ang mga hard and soft coral reef. Sa mga soft coral tulad ng sea fan, madalas makita ang isa sa mga favorite macro subject na pygmy seahorse. Tirahan din ito ng mga ghost at squat shrimp. Pwede mo rin may spatan ang mga soft porcelain crab dito. Maraming uri naman ng nudie branch ang pwede mong makita sa mga hard coral. Paborito rin itong pahingahan ng mga juvenile frogfish. Hindi lang si Nemo ang may kita natin sa mga sea anemone dahil tambayan din ito ng mga spotted cleaner shrimp. Madalas ka bang makakita ng feather star o crinoid sa iyong mga dive adventure? Huwag i-echa puwera mga feather star dahil maraming macro subject ang pwede mong matimingan dito. Paborito silang tirahan ng mga crinoid clingfish at maging ang ornate ghost pipefish. Huwag mo rin kakalimutang i-explore ang seagrass meadows dahil maraming species ng seahorse at sea slug ang spot dito. Kung sandy bottom naman ang dive site, maging mapagmatsyag dahil pati sa buhangin ay may nakatagong underwater subjects. Maaari ka rin makakita ng mga naglalakad-lakad na flamboyant cuttlefish. Kung sa buhangin ay may may kitang macro subject, 
mas marami pang macro creatures ang spotted naman sa midwater column ng dagat. Sila ang mga zooplankton na nagsisilabasan sa pagsapit ng gabi. Dito makikita ang hindi mabilang at pambihirang underwater subjects. Drumlon is very special when it comes to underwater landscapes. We have coral reefs, we have sandy slopes, we have muck diving, we have seagrass meadows, we have small walls. We have a big diversity in underwater landscapes. Ayun, kaya naman pala hindi nabibigo ang mga underwater photographer na bumibisita rito. One-stop shop kasi ang ilalim ng dagat ng Rumblon. Kaya kung gusto mong maka-experience mag-spotting ng macro critter, bakit hindi mo subukang sisiri ng underwater world ng isla? Up next, know the importance of dive spotters and learn the basics of macro dive spotting. The Dive Sa likod ng mga nakamamanghang larawan na nakuha sa ilalim ng dagat ay ang mga underwater photography enthusiast. Pero alam niyo ba na bukod sa mga underwater photographer, may isa pang nasa likod ng mga spotted macro marine life? Ito ay ang talas ng mga mata ng isang dive spotter o tagahanap ng macro critters. Challenging kasi sa mga underwater photographer ang maghanap ng mga subject, lalo na kung bago siya sa isang dive site. 2009, nang sinimulan ng magkakapatid na Peter, Philip at Patrick Eschweiler ang 3P Beach and Diving Resort dito sa Romblon. Hilig ng kanilang pamilya ang scuba diving, kaya naman mas pinili nilang manirahan dito. Tubong rumblon din kasi ang kanilang ina. Kwento ng magkakapatid, tinutukan nila ang paghahanap ng mga marine critter nang buksan ang kanilang resort. At isa sa mga nakita nila rito ay ang Lembe Sea Dragon. Hindi rin daw nila inaasahan na makakakita sila dito ng Phantom Nudie Branch o ang Malibi Kolimani, ang inahanap-hanap ng mga macro photography enthusiast. Trivia Buddies! Alam niyo ba na ang kauna-unahang Milibi Kolimani na nadiskubre dito sa Pilipinas ay na-capture mismo ng world-renowned underwater photographer na si Jerome Kim? Sa tulong ito ng dive spotter na si Philip Eschweiler. Ang mga dive spotter ang unang nagiging lente ng mga underwater photographer. At ngayong araw, makakasama natin ang kapatid ni Philip, si Patrick Eschweiler, isang professional diver and spotter. Ituturo niya sa atin ang mga dapat malaman ng mga nais maging spotter. Generally, a good spotter should know, should know uh, the environment. Uh, which makes him a good spot eventually. Of course, it's not only eyesight, it's a lot of knowledge. The more you know about the environment, the lesser the time you'll consume in searching for the best spot where to find marine critters. Oh, you have to read. I think you have to read and once you find a creature, uh, try to find out what, where you found it, what it's eating. 
so you know what, what they're feeding off or where they live generally in the environment. Then the possibility to find it again and again and again is much bigger than just trying to find it with pure eyesight. Dagdag ba ni Patrick, alamin ang kailangan ng underwater photographer? Uh, you build up a, some kind of communication underwater that you can uh, assist properly to the needs and if you dive longer with the same people then of course you, you're like a team already and then it's easy to uh, get, the, get the picture that the photographer has in his mind. Isa buddies ang pagiging dive spotter sa mga magandang gawing hanap buhay sa diving industry. Pero paalala ni Patrick, may malaking responsibilidad ang mga dive spotter sa pangangalaga ng mga nilalang sa dagat. What is very important for the future of the Philippines in, in general diving industry is that uh, spotter are responsible for the creatures they find and take care of them because that is the income source, that is why people are coming and uh, they should be protected and uh, treated well. Up next, the magical world of black water diving in Rumblon. Hindi lang macro diving ang dinarayo sa Romblon dahil isa rin itong go-to place ng mga black water enthusiast where we can spot more macro and rare marine creatures. Black water diving is, as the name says, during nighttime, we go out in the open ocean. Above us is, uh, below us is like 200, 300, 400 meters. Uh, we dive up to, our safety is 30 meters. Uh, we got the line with the boya and lights attached and we look for pelagic magic because during the night time uh, it's the biggest migration on the planet earth every night all the critters are coming up to feed or to breed so there we got the chance to shoot uh, very very rare level things like fish shrimps paper nautilus nautilus different kind of critters Talaga namang level up underwater photography experience ang hatid ng black water diving adventure. Experienced diver would always want to go to black water because once they're really experienced, that means they already pictured most of the very rare critters that you can find around the world. And black water can give you a different alternative, can give you critters that maybe you're the first one who ever see it and put it on picture. That's why people love to make black water because it's um, so unique in creatures that you can find. 2015, nang unang beses na mag-blackwater diving dito ang magkakapatid na Eschweiler. Ipinakilala ito sa kanila ng isa ring award-winning underwater photographer na si Scott Gutsy Tuason. So they asked us, do you have any sandy spots here? Any spots where no corals are? And we said, yeah, sure, we got those. But we don't go diving there because there's nothing to see. And I said, no, well, of course we got the experience that we find critters there, like the wonder post, macro. So we said, okay, let's go. And then we found tiny, tiny frogfish and uh, like other amazing stuff. And from that moment on, we were totally hyped. We were, we were so into hyped it. Hyped and hooked. Hyped and hooked. <laughs> Dito na raw nag-umpisa ang hilig ng magkakapatid sa black water diving. At dahil sa dami ng mga nakikita nilang pambihirang nilalang, Mas nakilala pa ang isla ng Rumblon. Pero bago tayo mag-dive into the magical world of black water, narito muna ang mga dapat alamin tungkol sa black water diving. For black water diving, you should be at least advanced diver or you have a minimum of 100 dives. You should not be a beginner because it's all about buoyancy there. 
We don't want to drift away, it's a drift dive in the open ocean. We have to keep aligned with the, with the light that we put out there. So the people need to stick together and while shooting, you can get distracted. You might sink because the object is sinking and you don't realize it until your ears are suddenly sounding alarm because you have to equalize because you drop deeper. So you have to be in that way experienced that you recognize those things and be disciplined. At dahil extra challenging ang black water diving, mahalaga na sumunod sa dive plan. Definitely listen to your dive leader during that point. Uh, usually our guests will have a dive guide with them, additional dive guide who's also spotting. Yeah, you have to listen to the briefing, otherwise you, you, you can't do really wrong. Because for the first timers who do black water, even if you're an experienced di uh, photographer, like if you go in the reef, you already know, okay, you position yourself like this, you have to put your arm like this, etc., etc., to stabilize. Doing black water, it's all floating. So the object is here, you are here, and you try to bring everything synchron so to take the picture, right? It's way difficult, way more advanced. You have to, you have to focus on your breathing, on, 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 the, on your technique. Is, the technique that you learned before is way different. Each blackwater dive is different. You can't say what is coming up this night, what are you gonna see, how is the current that night. It's always, it's always different. It's always something you can be having super surprising or sometimes a little bit boring. I mean, boring for those who do it regular base. I do it, if I do it in a year a hundred times, then I see things over and over again because there's always, I mean, there's same stuff coming up. You took many pictures of that. So you, the more often you do it, you want to see different stuff, of course. But normally for people who do it the first time, the second time, or just, uh, during the vacation. They are always happy to see any subject and get a good picture out of it. So the expectations and uh, the challenge for the photographer is to make the best out of the situation and, and shoot whatever you see and try to make the best picture you can do. Three years ago, alam nyo ba, na may isang mala magical marine creature ang spotted dito sa Romblon? Ito ang female blanket octopus. Tinawag itong blanket octopus dahil sa kanilang mga galamay na malakapa o kumot. Bukod sa kanilang nakamamanghang kulay, kilala rin ang mga species na ito sa kanilang sexual dimorphism. Ang sexual dimorphism ay isang sistematikong pagkakaiba sa anyo ng dalawang magkaibang kasarian ng magkaparehong species. Gaya sa blanket octopus, Di hamak na mas malaki ang mga babaeng uri nito kaysa mga lalaki. Lumalaki ng humigit kumulang dalawang metro ang mga female blanket octopus, habang halos 1 inch lamang ang mga lalaking uri nito. Dahil sa laki ng pagkakaiba ng kanilang sukat, ang blanket octopus ang may pinakamalaking gender size discrepancy in the animal kingdom. Hindi lang isa, kundi dalawang female blanket octopus ang nakita sa blackwater diving adventure na ito. Kung titingnan, tila lumilipad ang mga female blanket octopus sa kalawakan. Mas naging magical pa ang rare sighting na ito dahil sa pag-iiba-iba ng kanilang kulay. Pagdating naman sa patalinuhan, hindi rin papahuli ang mga blanket octopus. Kilala sila sa mundo ng dagat bilang isa sa mga matatalino at madiskarte pagdating sa hunting. Kapag nalalagay sila sa isang potential danger, 
iwinawagayway ng female blanket octopus ang kanilang mga galamay. Paraan nila ito para magmukha silang isang malaking hayop sa dagat. Immune din ang kanilang magical tentacles sa mga extremely toxic sting tulad sa taglay ng Portuguese man o war. Kaya din nilang punitin ang galamay ng man o war at ikinakabit nila ito sa kanilang katawan para gamitin naman bilang defense weapon. At kung hindi ito gumana sa kalaban, kaya nilang i-detach ang kanilang galamay para makatakas. Pero hindi tulad sa ibang mga pugita, hindi naglalabas ng tinta ang mga blanket octopus. Sapat na ang kanilang magical tentacles upang protektahan ang kanilang mga sarili. Well, blanket octopus reminds us that we can't have it all, but we can be the best version of ourselves with what we have. That's the wonders of creation. Dagat ay hindi na uubusan ng mga bagay na magpapamangha sa atin. And discovering these wonders of the ocean leads us for more exciting adventures. The more we get excited, the more we become appreciative and protective of our marine environment. Oh, Pano Buddies! Hanggang sa susunod na dive adventure with your diving buddy, The Dive! Take a look at the